One of my most favourite window managers, and the one I actually use on a daily basis, is Motif Window Manager, part of the Open Motif Toolkit. And it's something which hasn't really been updated for a long time. That's because it's, it's pretty much perfect as it is in my eyes. But when I saw there was an enhanced Motif Window Manager by a developer called Alex, and it was available on GitHub, I couldn't help but uh, be curious. And what the developer's done is fix a few issues which Motif Window Manager has in the sense that it's not uh, compliant with modern apps uh, in the sense that uh, there are one or two display problems. Say, for instance, you want to maximize a window, it's not going to look right across multiple monitors. And But anyway, yeah, so looking at this enhanced window manager, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's changed quite a few things. And it's been developed recently, so it's an ongoing thing for uh, the developer. You get two downloads, one containing the window manager itself, and the other one containing some utilities. And I really won't be going into the utilities in this uh, particular video, but I'll just give a quick overview of, of how the new Motive Window Manager, the enhanced Motive Window Manager, compares to the stock one. And the stock one is something which um, I, I particularly like. I like its simplicity. And one thing I do like about this particular developer and this enhancement, it says everything is usually tested on FreeBSD and some sort of GNU Linux uh, distro. Suggestions and contributions are welcome. So uh, if you go to the webpage and give the developer a little email, give me some encouragement. And I've downloaded them into a folder, a uh, separate folder, so it keeps things nice and neat. So if we go into a terminal, and I'm just going to extract both files. There they are. It's going to do lily. Right, that's them done. It's going to change directory into each particular file subdirectory. Oh, well, there's all the files. Very nice. Right, I'm just going to do a simple make, install and clean. Doesn't take two seconds, really. And just go with the directory and going into the the tools one or the utils or the utilities one. Make install clean. There's an error at the bottom there, but I know I've tested this before, it works fine. The best way to show the differences between the old and new version or the enhanced version is to show you how new windows opening are handled on the old version. So here's the old version going across all of them on it, so that's why the desktop looks big. And it doesn't matter where I click on each particular part of the desktop, on each monitor, a new window will open up in exactly the same place on the left-hand side there, where all the external windows are. I mean, that's fine. You can just start up a new window and then just drag it across. But it's a little bit, it, it doesn't follow the norms for modern desktops. And here is the enhanced one. So yes, I click on the left-hand side, it opens there. Click in the middle, it opens in the middle. And if I click on the right monitor, it opens up on the right monitor. So each particular section of the desktop on each monitor works correctly. And here is a browser in each window. And if I maximize it, it maximizes to the size of each monitor. And here's a close up of the new changes. So if you just click maximize, it may not be a big thing to most people, but for this particular window manager, it is a big thing. It maximizes to the size of the monitor rather than going out of control. So that's pretty cool. And just to show you what it's like on the stock uh, Motif Window Manager. If I press Maximize, as you can see, the window spans all across three monitors, or however many monitors there are. And the only way I can close it is if I go off screen and click the Restore Size. Click it again, it goes too big. So that was the problem with the stock uh, Motif Window Manager. The Enhanced Window Manager uh, fixes that. And another one of the changes which is most evident to me is this is the menu of the uh, the basic Motif Window Manager. You know, that's pretty cool. It's uh, it's legible. It's all right. I don't mind it. But on the enhanced Motif Window Manager, you can actually see the text is a lot better. And I'm going to flick between the old and the new. So there's the old. And there's the new. So you can see that the, the actual text and fonts are handled much better, which is pretty good. So yes, go along to the developer's webpage. And you can see uh, some examples. There's far more details than I've gone into this uh, very short video on this. Um, loads of instructions, how to get the most out of it. Um, loads more details about what's been changed. But it's taken 
really something which I use on a daily basis. I mean, I do sometimes when I feel like uh, being luxurious, I'll uh, I'll fire up the KDE Plasma desktop. But when I want to get work done quickly, without any fuss, the Motive Window Manager or NWN is the one that I go for. And the enhancements that he's made on this is is brilliant. It does fix one or two issues, and there are a lot more which I haven't explored. But yeah, go to the web page and give the developers some love. And the fact that that uh, it gets tested on FreeBSD first is a plus. Unfortunately, the enhanced Motive Window Manager isn't yet available, and I say yet, hopefully it will be. It's not yet available via PKG, or packages, or via ports. Now, I wish it was, and hopefully the developer will submit the, uh, the new version, we never know. But for now, it's available via the website, or via GitHub. So, uh, this is the only way to get it at the moment. And if the developer's watching this, which uh, I hope they are, get your work submitted. It's brilliant. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.